In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. My dearly beloved in Christ, today is Our Lady's Day here at Holy Innocence. I like to think that every day here at Holy Innocence is Our Lady's Day, but in a very special way today as we begin this month of May with the crowning of her image. St. Maximilian Kolbe, as we know, was a very great apostle of our Blessed Mother. We could call him a fool of the Immaculate. And he summarized our Christian mission in the beautiful expression, to win the world for the Immaculata as soon as possible. Our Lady is powerful over Satan. Our Lady crushes the head of the ancient serpent, as she was commissioned to do by God, and foreshadowed in the Old Testament book of Genesis, when we read in that third chapter, verse 15, that she will crush your head, that she will crush your head as you strike at her heel. And so the mission of our Blessed Lady is to fight a great war. And St. Maximilian Kolbe knew that he, as a member of the Church, the Body of Christ, was a part of that war to fight that war against Satan with our Blessed Mother. And he wrote in many of his writings, and we might know this, that he said the war was not going to be fought with weapons, but it was going to be and continues to be a spiritual one fought with Our Lady, who is the perfect model of Christ. Maximilian Kolbe knew that this war was between the ancient serpent and the woman, our Blessed Mother. In the end times, and if you read the writings of St. Louis de Montfort, this will be very much highlighted. In the end times, Our Lady will crush the serpent, and it will be through consecrated souls devoted to her that she will do it. The power of Satan today is gradually being crushed through Our Lady, although it seems that his power is becoming much more and more strong. When we hear German bishops wanting to bless gay unions against the church teaching, as has recently come out, when we hear of German bishops wanting to distribute Holy Communion to Protestants who don't believe that our Lord is present, body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Blessed Sacrament, when we hear very confusing statements from time to time coming from Rome and from those who should be teaching us and upholding us in the faith rather than causing confusion and sorrow amongst the people. It seems as if Satan is winning, but we know that that is not the case. The prayer of consecration by St. Maximilian Kolbe states in one of the lines, You have destroyed all heresies in the whole world, O Mary. So Our Lady is powerful to do this. A soul devoted to our Blessed Mother will never perish, the saints tell us. And I also believe a soul devoted to Our Lady will never be in error, will never be led astray by false teaching or by uh, false ideas that are not of God or of the Church. So if you're with Our Lady, I believe there is nothing to fear in these confusing and oftentimes troubling of days. Our Lady needs her army. She's all-powerful to triumph, but she needs her human agents to bring about the ultimate destruction of the power of the evil one in the world and in souls today. How many have grown so cold in their faith, in their living a moral life? How much wickedness is being multiplied? So we need to answer that call of our Blessed Mother to be a consecrated soul in her troop to counteract the slaves of Lucifer. We are to develop, if not already, a trusting relationship with the Blessed Mother of God, who is our Queen and our Mother as
as well. So this month of May given to us by Holy Mother Church is indeed that impetus to love Our Lady as we should always, but to show more uh, acts of devotion to her during these days, and to trust that what she told us at Fatima will happen, that in the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. We pray that that day comes very soon, but until it does, we trust in God, we keep praying, we keep sacrificing, we keep moving along in confidence at the side of our Blessed Mother, who indeed has her mantle wrapped around us, and who is continually leading us to her Divine Son, Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life. May our consolation be that thought that a child of Mary never perishes, nor will go astray from the true Catholic faith, which we all love and wish to defend. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm.